remember, boys and girls, we have been discussing the senses, the five senses. So far, we have been introduced to the sense of sight, and we use our eyes for that sense. We have also learned about the sense of hearing, and we know that we use our ears to when we're talking about the sense of hearing. Today's main topic or main idea is the sense of smell. Can you identify what body part we would use for the sense of smell? Did you say your nose? If you said we use our nose for the sense of smell, you were correct. Think of different scents that you smell, like going into a pizza restaurant and the smell of the pizza baking. What about walking into the zoo and the smells that the animals give off? There are pleasant and there are unpleasant smells. Listen carefully as I read our story today about the main topic or idea, the sense of smell. Pay close attention to how your nose can tell where there is something to smell. Everybody take a deep breath. Every time you inhale, or breathe in, a lot more than air goes up your nose. Along with air, thousands of tiny little molecules, which are small pieces of things, too small to see, enter your nose each time you breathe. They're called odor molecules, and together they make up what we call scents. Scents and odors are smells. When the man in the picture inhales, the odor molecules travel up his nose, and then he smells the scent of coffee. Molecules are microscopic, so small that you can't see them without a microscope, but they are floating around in the air all the time. There are millions of odor molecules in the air, especially hovering around everything that has a scent. The inside of your nose is like a big, damp cave designed to catch and keep odor molecules. When you sniff a flower, odor molecules rush in through your nostrils the two openings in your nose and travel high up inside your nose until they reach the smell receptors. Smell receptors are tiny parts deep inside the nose that catch the smell or scent from the air. The smell receptors tell your brain about the molecules you just sniffed and your brain sends a message back to tell you that's a sweet smelling flower. People can identify a huge number of different kinds of smells and odors, between 4,000 and 10,000. This is because we can tell the difference between that many different odor molecules. So if we look at our picture, we've got our rose or our flower here. The odor molecules travel up to the nose, Enter the nostril, continue up the nose canal till it hits the smell receptors. The smell receptors send a signal to the brain, and the brain tells your body what you are smelling. And in this case, it is smelling a sweet smelling flower. We're lucky to be able to smell so many odors even though sometimes they smell bad. Some animals, like dogs, have an even better sense of smell than humans. How many of you have a dog at home? I'm sure some of you said, yes, you have a dog at home. 
while others said, no, you don't have a dog at home. Dogs have 25 times more smell receptors than humans. Dogs have to sniff really hard to get the odor molecules all the way up their nose to meet their smell receptors. If you've ever seen a dog walking with its nose to the ground, you may even be able to hear it sniff. People sniff too, especially when they want to figure out where a smell is coming from or what a smell means. Can everybody inhale and sniff with me? If you had trouble sniffing just now, then maybe it is because your nose is stuffed up. When you have a stuffy nose, it means that your nostrils are full of mucus. Mucus is that slimy liquid substance secreted inside your nose. You always have mucus in your nose and other parts of your head. But when you're sick with a cold or have allergies, your body makes even more mucus. Mucus is very important. It traps dirt that might be floating around in the air you breathe and keeps it from going further into your body. If you are sick, the extra mucus can stuff up your nose and cause it to run. When there is extra mucus in your nose, it is hard for odor molecules to travel high enough into your nose to reach the smell receptors. The odor molecules are blocked or stopped by the mucus. Block means to stop from getting through. That means that when your nose is stuffed up with a cold, you can't smell as well as when you're healthy. And when that happens, it's time to grab a tissue and blow your nose. Your sense of smell can help protect you. For instance, if smoke molecules travel through your nostril to your smell receptors, your brain will know there's a fire somewhere and you will know that you need to get away from the fire. Even if you are not sure you smell smoke, you only think you do. It is better to leave the area and have an adult check to see if there's a fire. Better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry is a saying that means that it is better to take your time and be very careful when doing something than it is to rush ahead or ignore a warning and risk getting hurt. But your sense of smell doesn't only tell you about bad things or dangers. It can be a lot of fun to sniff because many things smell great. Have you ever smelled chocolate chip cookies baking in the oven? Or what about buttery popcorn at a movie theater? Next time you're enjoying your favorite scent, try to remember that odor molecules are hitting your smell receptors and telling your brain, wow, that smells great. So let's see if we can answer some questions about our story today. What was the main topic or idea of today's lesson? Did you just respond that the sense of smell is the main topic or idea? What kind of molecules go into the nose and make up scents? Did you say odor molecules? Odor molecules go into the nose and make up scents. What do we call the tiny pieces of things in the air that are too small to see? Did you say molecules? Molecules are the tiny pieces of things in the air that are too small to see. How do odor molecules get into the nose? The odor molecules get into the nose through the nostril. So where do they go from there? 
Did you say that once they get into the nostril that they go to the smell receptors and that the smell receptors send information to your brain? How can your sense of smell help you? Did you say that it can protect you from harm? that it can smell danger such as a fire and it can help you get to a safe place. We have learned about the sense of smell today and I hope that you have enjoyed our story.